So the Till family are off on a little adventure. We're going for a week to a place near St Albans. Here's Flaviana driving. Hello. There is Baby and Aurelia. Hello. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be the most boring trip for you ever because we're just going to probably just go there and there won't be very much videoing in between. But anyway, uh, we've got uh, 97 miles to get there, so obviously the e-Nero will handle that easily. Uh, we're charged up to 100%. And uh, the big difference for this time is that um, I've now got, with my little OVMS box, I've now got something that links with... Um, a better route planner, which means that a better route planner, we can look at that and find out what the consumption is like on the trip. So I've explained that really badly, haven't I? But um, anyway, I'll show it in screenshots. So what we did in Italy was Flaviana had to keep pressing the EV button when she was driving and I would have to keep looking on a better route planner and enter the efficiency manually. And we don't have to do that this time. I mean, it, it's all pointless anyway because we can do the trip without charging, but um, Perhaps on the way back we'll have to charge. Anyway, we'll see. So we've got the roof box. The other part of this little drive is that we've got the roof box and as always that affects the efficiency and it's a little bit wet today, which also affects it. And um, so we'll just see how that, how that does. The car has quite a bit in the boot, but not as much as we normally take because uh, we've been quite good this time. Yeah, I think we haven't taken enough uh, this time. Really? Yeah, I think we're gonna miss something when we get there. Yeah, probably. Always drive back. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. We were going to go to Snowdonia, but um, it's a bit difficult. What with COVID and everything, and what with my uh, mini stroke, I suppose, and it's just all been a little bit um, rushed and everything. Anyway, so we just decided to uh, do dog sitting for someone. So that's what we're doing, just for a week, and maybe we'll go on somewhere else after that, or maybe not. But we're going to explore the St Albans area, Hemel Hempstead, Hemel Hempstead and all that kind of bit. Hertfordshire, it's very posh, apparently. Well, mentioned that we're going into a passive house, no? That's yes, cool. yes, and we're going to a passive house. To dog sit. To dog sit, yeah. And passive houses are very cool. Uh, it's about as eco as you can possibly get. Um, I do know I don't know the full details about them, but... Um, They've got some. They've got a very cool ventilation kind of system that means that you don't have to use up any gas, I think, to heat it. And I think it stays at a pretty good temperature all year round. But I will find out more when we get there. But yeah, it's quite exciting because we wanted a passive house, but uh, they're not cheap to build. Are they? No. By the way, you can tell your viewers that actually the Nero is quite uh, noisy. They probably can hear it. So uh, inside, I think it's quite noisy, but it's noisy on the motorway. It's noisy because of the roof box. Ah, uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, someone asked me that actually the other day. They said, how noisy is it with the roof box on? And I said, well, it's not too bad. No, it is bad. But it is actually a bit. Uh, anyway, good. Well, we're on our way and it'll take one hour, 26 minutes from here to get there. So um, I'll do a little update later to see how the efficiency is going. Yes. It's nice to drive when there's no one at all. Look. <laughs> Report of obstruction, 50 miles an hour, but everyone else is blaming it. Yeah. And the Italian that is supposed to go faster than the others is the only one that that is observing the rules because of the English husband. Otherwise you'd be blaming it as well. Yes, I was until you told me. I know. To yeah. down because of the cameras. But who is, tells me when there's cameras, no? No. Yes. Oh, well, you mean it'll say yes as a... Yes. I know, but sometimes Camera they got... Coming in. Sometimes Guard. they got... Okay. Show, show the traffic. I'm doing 56. Only this other poor idiot is observing. He's probably 90 years old. Tell me what was the need of this uh, thing. And now you will see the power. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Okay, don't drive angry. We're not in a rush. I 
I always try yeah. anchor in Italian. No camera. No camera, no, no. And if there is a camera, and if it catches me, we'll just put it on your father's driving license. No, we'll my... Just say that he was driving. No, my license is clean, thank you. Yes, that's why. But it is stupid, though, because there was no obstruction. Yeah. So why was it 50? I can't film the speedo. Uh, look at this idiot. Set the bottom. You can't film. I can't. I can't film your speed in case you go fast. Why? Yeah, because if I film your speed and you're doing seventy, blah, 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 uh, you know, and then it's published on YouTube. Uh, that's evidence of speeding, isn't it? But luckily, you're just doing seven. <laughs> So at the moment, okay, yes. you're doing 66 and the speedo says 70. Yes. So when I've done the little range tests before on the motorway, I would do it to 70 on here and then yeah, 74 or whatever it is on over there. So we've got one hour to go. It doesn't feel like it's a very big trip this, does it? Yeah, true. So, so far I've just looked at the better route planner and it says that we'll get there with 52% battery. Um, or 51%, I can't remember what it said now because I'm filming with the same thing, I'm looking at a better route planner wrong. So, um, anyway, so we're doing about, doing about right, really. What? Well, that's crap, you know. If it was 97 miles and uh, the Kia is uh, 300 and it started with 320, how is it possible that we get there with 50%? These electric cars yeah, don't, don't make uh, much sense. That's <laughs> fair. Uh, it's because you've got a heavy right foot and we've got a roof box. The mo the, anytime you're driving fast, the efficiency dies on any car. It's just that obviously it's more noticeable than an electric one. Also, actually, we're on level 3 regen and it's yeah, Laura? Pro probably best to take okay. it off. Zero. But you could put it to auto actually. And then just put up like one. Yeah, so it's something like that. Try that. Are you filming the speed? Yeah, but it's fine. You're doing 70. 69. Anyway, so yes, a better. I don't want to do another course. No, no. Another speed away. No, don't. No, no, no. So a better route planner is, so far it's, it's working very well anyway, and it, it's uh, got it pretty spot on. But we went through an area where there was a lot of 50 miles an hour, so that uh, means that the efficiency is probably better than it would have been ordinarily. So the consumption info says it's 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. What's what? 3.2 times 64? 3.2 times 64 is 204.8. So Current with the current current consumption, it's 204 miles of battery of range on a full battery doing this these speeds with the roof box. Sorry, I wasn't following. Okay. <laughs> well, the cut the consumption info at the moment says we're doing 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Yeah. And we've got 64 kilowatt hour battery. So to work out. The range. If we were if we were doing this trip uh, with a hundred percent battery, uh, you would do thirty. You do three point two times sixty four, and that gets you two hundred and five or whatever. It you're just quite. Said. Uh, you're quite the mathematician, eh? You're proud of yourself now. Tuo padre sta provando a fare il figone. Figone. What's that mean? Cool guy. Cool guy. I'm not. Calculate. Oh, okay. Not that cool. It's a simple calculation anyway, so you could, that's, that's the easy way of working out your current kind of full range of the battery based on your consumption. So yes, at the moment that reduces the e Nero's 282 miles, which is what they tell you it does, reduces it down to 205 if you're doing over 70 on a motorway with a roof box. There we go. It's all good info. 
but Flaviana does have a heavy... So it's a scam. Heavy right foot. No, because they can't... Um, it's not a scam, darling, because if you buy a petrol car... Yeah. Yeah, and it tells you it does certain consumption. If you're doing motorway miles, then that, that goes down a lot. It's just, you know, it's physics. <laughs> now you're also... A doctor in physics, I'm a doctor then, in physics and as well. mathematics. No, it's because I say rubbish in my videos and then I have people comment saying, you know, telling me what the way it is, you know? Yeah. And it's the amount of air that you're pushing. You know, the, From fast, behind. the faster you're going, the, the <laughs> air. It's <laughs> something to do with pushing air. What kind of air? So, yeah, it's a bit of a scam. Yeah, I know, but. So they should say. The Nero does 310 miles on city roads. So it's 282 miles is what the, the what Kia say this does, this car. But on city driving it's I think more like 310 or something. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. Because when we're just driving around Canterbury the consumption is much better than this obviously. But it's more noticeable in an electric car because you've got a smaller range to to begin with, you know? You've got a, a smaller than a petrol car, I mean. Yeah. So it's more noticeable. And not like in the Leaf. You remember the Leaf? We were getting, what, 65 miles or something? Yeah. On the motorway. There's a radio in the back listening to the Little Mermaid soundtrack. So Disney is going to claim all the advertising revenue for this uh, video. Yeah, what the heck? Don't do it then. I'm hoping it's in the background enough for it not to pick it up. Also, I've not seen one electric car on this whole journey so far. No, maybe people don't use it on highway travel. <laughs> okay, watch it. Of course they do. <laughs> they do. Maybe they just use it in the city. What are you talking about? What year are you in? So we stopped for a bit of the services and now we are back on our way. At the moment, um, a uh, better route planner says that we're going to get there with 56% battery left and actually it said 54 when we left so we're doing better than it said even with the roof box so that's quite good. I'm not seeing enough electric cars. Yeah. I told you, they don't use the highway. They do. Normally I see loads of Teslas. Teslas uh, are already all in Europe, uh, in France, um, they don't stay. Well, they're all, go they're all going to get quarantined then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Serves them right. What, for having a Tesla? Yes. Okay, so we're here and um, we've now unpacked and everything and we're just about to go for a walk before it starts raining. But uh, okay, let's talk about efficiency then. So we got here with 57% battery. A better route planner said that was going to be 54%. So it's actually better than it said. And that's even with a roof box. And that's even with Flaviana's very heavy right foot. So I'm quite impressed with that really. But yeah, I mean, looking at the consumption then, that's 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. 3.4 times 64 gets you 64 kilowatt hours. That's the size of the Kia Enero battery. So 3.4 times 64 is quite an easy way of working out what the range would be going at those speeds with the roof box. These conditions, uh, oh, we had air conditioning on as well. Um, and yeah, that comes to about 217.6 based on the current consumption. So uh, yeah, I mean, obviously that's not great, is it? But um, ordinarily, uh, ordinarily you probably wouldn't get that because it's you wouldn't have a roof box on top. But... Certainly with a roof box, um, in these conditions, I mean, it's actually quite warm outside, it's 25 degrees, so yeah, we did have air conditioning on. Flaviana does drive uh, at the speed limit, and perhaps a little bit more. Um, there was a little st stretch of 50 miles an hour, but anyway, I would say at normal driving on the motorway, that's what, that's what you're getting. It's certainly brilliant, the, the link up with OVMS, which is this box that I've got plugged in. The link up with that and um, a better route planner is really good because it does mean that you get the the consumption info 
what it, what is annoying is that it doesn't have a CarPlay app because really that's what you would want because I was still looking on the phone which is not ideal and you would want it displayed on the entertainment system you would want the sat nav on there like this, this sort of, that's the Tesla experience um, but there is hope that the next iOS version sorry I'm getting technical now the next iOS version which I think is what's it 14 or 15 whatever it's called does allow for apps to do CarPlay um, um, like charging electric charging in CarPlay it allows that easier so hopefully I would you know I would hope that things like a better route planner can integrate more with CarPlay in the future so that would be really good anyway right we're going to go for a walk and um, enjoy this place the house is stunning and I'll show you a little bit of that while I'm talking now it's um yes yeah, so it's a passive house they've got an air source heat pump I think that's what it's called which keeps the whole house and there's triple glazing throughout so it makes the house pretty much the same temperature all year round. They don't use the radiators at all, for instance. And um, and yeah, it's it's just beautiful. So uh, we're very fortunate to be here for a week. And they've got a Tesla, so actually they've got charger, a charger there that we can use, which is uh, cool as well. So we've had a fantastic time in Hertfordshire, and now we're on our way back home to Canterbury. And it's about 96 miles back home. We've got 200 miles on the GOM. Gasometer. GOM is gasometer. 200 miles on the GOM, but that 200 miles is based on the efficiency that we've been doing um, for the past you know, few trips. And actually around here, it's, we've been getting pretty good efficiency really. These are the last few journeys we've been doing. I mean, as you can see, that's 4.8 is really good. And I don't remember when we came here actually. Must've been the 16th. Yeah, so 99 miles, okay. So, sorry, so it's 99 miles here roughly then. And we got 3.4, so that was mainly motorway. So, based on the fact that it, of it being about 99 miles back home, then I would expect the the GOM will say. Sorry, let's get that in focus. The GOM, if it's 200 now, you would think that would say 100, but it's going to be more than that. It's probably going to be about 70 miles, I reckon, left on the GOM because it will adjust once we start uh, getting worse efficiency on the motorway. So that 200 miles is based on 4.4. But we'll be absolutely fine. We've got 71% battery and a better route planner says we'll get back with 27%. So let's see how accurate that is. We're on our way back to Canterbury then. But one hour to go. And what else can I tell you? Not much. Right, we're back home and a better route planner said we would get back with 27% battery and actually we've got 29 so that's really good which, which actually means it's really accurate because there were three occasions on the motorway where it went down to 50 miles an hour normally it would be 70 so perhaps if those 50 miles an hour parts weren't there then we would be on 27% as it is, we're on 29, and uh, you know that's fantastic. The GOM says 74 miles, and we started with 200, and the route was 96 miles. So that's clearly more than it should be. But then, as I said before, you know it, it has to adjust based on your your efficiency. You know, and clearly going on the motorway quite fast, you know, is bound to hit the efficiency. So um, I was driving at. The speedometer said 74 miles an hour. That makes 70 on um, on the GPS. So I was driving at 70 the most of the way, other than a few 50 mile an hour parts. So a better route planner, fantastic. Um, OVMS was fine, I think. Although we didn't actually look, we knew we had enough. We knew we had enough battery, and Flaviana wasn't interested in looking at the app, so um, I didn't bother with her with that. So, but OVMS worked, you know, that live data thing, that's really good. And I'll do a separate video about that to say how, how to set it up because it's a bit fiddly. So that works really well. Um, anyway, so there it is, a roof box, another roof box range test from me. This time I didn't break down before I tried to do it, like I did before. Anyway, I won't waffle anymore. Um, I've waffled enough. Thanks so much for watching. Press the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of my other videos and I shall uh, look forward to your comments and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye for now.